Driven by the Jarslin Art Museum uh, lately, you've seen a large new building coming to life. And we wanted to see how the expansion of the historic Omaha landmark is going, so we got an inside look. Our Bella Caracta shows us the progress in a story you'll only see on 6 News. Good news, the expansion for the Jocelyn Art Museum is going as anticipated and will open by the middle of next year. We got an exclusive look on the construction site, but first, let's take a look from above. This is a really an incredible, exciting moment for Jaws and Art Museum. Right now, like you know, we're in the midst of it. I mean, you really get a sense of the shape of the building. Uh, it will be enclosed over the next few months. Uh, there'll be glass on the first floor. You'll begin to see the landscape take shape later this year, but um, it's really coming to life. The 42,000 square foot expansion broke ground in the summer of 2021. The museum closed in May of last year so that work could really get underway. They went from just this to this now, and when crews are finished, the home for fine arts will look like this. Right now, about 70 people are doing everything from moving dirt to hanging drywall. On site, we saw where glass panels will be installed in the beginnings of a new atrium lobby that'll have a museum shop and community space. The expansion will accommodate a growing collection of permanent art, including 50 new pieces of contemporary work that the executive director says will take the museum to an international level. They're gonna see you know, new art, um, Familiar works of art that have been reinstalled in a new way, additional classrooms, more public space, a revitalized landscape, incredible gardens. We also went inside one of the new classrooms under construction, which will grow the museum from two teaching spaces to four. They're also taking the opportunity to revamp existing features, such as modernizing spaces in the original 1931 building and the 1994 pavilion. On your side, in Omaha, Bella Caracta, 6 News. When the new building opens next year, it will be named for Rhonda and Howard Hawks of the Hawks Foundation, an Omaha-based nonprofit.